Hey there, Sharon Hornell here. Welcome to day 1,849 of What You Up To Now. Let it go. Let go of things that no longer serve you or that make you feel bad. We talked about this today in the Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. Today's day 49 in that challenge already. Almost 50 days into that challenge. Is that right? 46. Never mind. Day 46. It's uh, 1,849 today. So almost... 1,850 episodes of this segment I've done since I came online and started documenting my journey and sharing and journaling in like a video log to keep track of things. I have some physical challenges and so to make it easier for me to actually function, I decided I would start making videos. Plus I was scared to death to make videos so I want to get over my fear of that and it helped me to do that as well. And here we are, 1,850 tomorrow, days into it. So that's, that's a little bit exciting. Now today, the reason I have Elsa's castle, actually my granddaughter Quinlan's frozen castle that she got for Chris, Christmas, Christmas birthday. I don't remember the, the days they all run together when you're hanging around little kids. So uh, I wanted to use her little Elsa today for my Super Size Your Business video because our topic today and our idiom is let it go. We talked about, uh, it's been around for a long time, like so many we've talked about lately, the origin, the exact origin isn't known. And I find it really interesting that the newer idioms, which this one's pretty new compared to the length that idioms and the, of time that idioms can be popular, uh, and of course, because of the Frozen movies and the song Let It Go, uh, it it's more popular than it's ever been. Almost everybody knows if you say, hey, let it go, they, they know what you're talking about. They mean, it's not serving you, do something else, make another choice, do something different, just blow it off and don't pay attention to it anymore. And we need to do that with everything, especially when we're building a business or a life for ourselves that doesn't feel good to us. When we are experiencing feelings, and we're talking about emotional well-being the whole month of February as part of the annual challenge, and, and we're talking about different topics and how does that relate to getting what we want out of life, getting our goals. And today's was to was different exercises to do, mostly to identify things that we really should let go of. There are a lot of things we should let go of in our life. I have a lot of clothes and I have a whole storage unit of things that I'm probably gonna let go of this summer because they've been there for two or three years now and I haven't needed them. So I'll take the pictures out and the, the memorabilia and the things I really need. But all of the other stuff that I thought I couldn't live without when I moved out of my big house into a smaller one, guess what? I'm gonna let it go. I let all 90% of what I had physically go when I made that move, but now it's time to let go of some more stuff. And, and why? Because it will serve other people better than it's serving me in a storage unit every month, right? It's not doing anybody any good sitting in storage, collect, not, maybe not collecting dust, but maybe spires or something like that. So I'm going to let that go. So what are some things that you could let go in your life? What are some things, especially with respect to feelings, that that make you feel bad. If it makes you feel bad, guess what? That is the world and the universe telling us that something isn't for us. If I'm feeling stressed out or worried or doubtful or anxious about something, none of those feelings feel good to me. And if I'm experiencing them, as soon as I notice I'm experiencing them, I have to ask myself questions. What's going on? Why am I feeling this way? Do I want to feel this way? Is it serving me? Or is it just trying to show me something that I'm trying to have blinders on about and not pay attention to? And usually, it's I'm trying not to see or pay attention to something that's uncomfortable for me. Why? Because I want to be comfortable. All of us strive to be comfortable, but it's in that comfort zone where we're just doing what we've always done. We're not expanding or growing or becoming a better version of ourselves. So today, brand new baby in the house, so that's always exciting, helping out with my daughter and her two girls now. And... Uh, that's always fun. It's fun to, to see the difference, especially between the, the first daughter who just turned two and the other one who was just born on Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday babies. So that was kind of fun. All right, but I'm here. If I can help you anyway, ask. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow just to let you know what I'm working on as I originally transitioned from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world of business. And so lots of off-world experience, off-world, off-internet experience, Not no off-world experience. All my experience has been in this world. Uh, oh my goodness. Definitely need my coffee this morning. All right. Have a great day. I'll be with you tomorrow. Bye.